turn my mic down a little. Mic test one, two. Turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down, turn it down. Uh-huh. Cool. Greetings, this is the Garage Autonomous, and welcome to the Autonomous Lounge. Uh, boo, 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 boo. Let's all thank my favorite bartender and part-time therapist, Amaralis Tiger, as she serves me my last Kaipirina of the night. Now I have to get my mail for the channel delivered to me here at the lounge because the hate mail has come in a laundry bag and can't fit in the mailbox at home. I'm only going to read one letter for tonight so here we go we have a young man from Hatersville Texas named Jason Billy dear garage apologist I am a single man of 33 years old and I refuse to have sex with a woman and marriage not on the table because black women prefers to hold themselves accountable for the countless black women who twerk and are liars and are always looking to take a man's money I'm just making a note here because Jason Billy really did write in the letter refers. If you're from Texas, you know what I'm talking about. I'll continue reading on. You and your communist heatherny refuse to talk about women's accountability. While all you ever do is talk about patriarchy and misogyny. I don't like to hear words I gotta pull a dictionary out to understand. This makes you a failure in all ways, sir. And that is why I call you the Garage Apologist. See what I did there? I wrote Garage Apologist instead of Autonomous because I am smart. I know this because my teachers, back when I was in special smart kids classes for special smart kids, told me how smart I am. And you are not so special because I make videos too on my special people software. But I'm not going to tell you. What channel I have because I want to keep it full of other men who think like me, who I want to be around a lot. P.S. Fuck you, Garage Apologist. See, I did it again. I called you Garage Apologist. L.O.L. I tells you what, little Billy. I will talk bad about women on tonight's lounge. We will also be talking about the things they should be accountable for. Now let's talk about that hypergamy thing. That's usually the first thing that most of these disgruntled men's rights movement guys and MGTOW men talk about. Well, you know what, guys? I have to agree. I don't think you should ever have to feel like being a wallet in a relationship. I mean, after all, you picked a girl who should look like a trophy and trophies cause money. Well, how dare them decide to not give you no stuff no more because maybe you lost your job. or Maybe you just don't really want to work that much. Or maybe you decided that they should suddenly all of the sudden start working, too. And then suddenly they just decide to get pissed off and want to divorce you. Well, that's not fucking fair. But the thing is that you wanted somebody who was pretty and who hangs on your arm. Now, think about it for a second. You know, somebody who just wants to look pretty all the time and she ain't going to school and not trying to work. And it's not about anything else other than how she looks. Well, I don't know. I would say that someone like that feels that their looks is a form of currency. And it sounds like to me you kind of went in on the deal with that. And and, oh, wait a minute. I'm starting to see less and less of how she's accountable for something like that because well if you reach your hand out to somebody who you know is going to take money out of it maybe you shouldn't reach your hand out to that person all right well okay i failed there on trying to get accountable 
a woman accountability. Okay. Oh, I got it. Let's talk about the twerking thing. Twerking videos. So you're seeing a bunch of women in these videos tw twerking, which is just disgusting because it goes against decency. They are barely dressed. They've got their kid probably in the other room or probably in the same room watching them. That's horrible. And these women who are twerking, I mean, who are they twerking for? Oh, wait. No, no, they could be twerking for other women. It's a, such a thing as lesbians twerking for lesbians but but wait um there's really just not that many who would do that for other women who are they twerking for who are they twerking for could it be that they're twerking for men the same kind of men who also rub one out when they're watching porn well wait a minute now i thought i was supposed to oh God, well i can't hold them accountable for that either they're doing it for the men and it seems that in a society when a woman's own worth is based on how she looks and her body and how much she should be showing of it. Well, I mean, I, you know, they don't have to do it. True enough. I'll hold them to that. They don't have to live up to men's gaze and their expectation to be naked all the time and to be objectified. I will give them that. But yet there's lots of men who want that. So I'm going to have to call that accountability even. It falls on both sides. Now, what else? What else? What else? Uh, hmm. Well, okay. I can't think of anything else. Well, I'm sorry about that, Billy. Try next time. <coughs> the fuck out of here with accountability. So... There you have it, because quite frankly, if you if you got with a fucked up woman, I can guarantee you she was fucked up when you met her. And you can say the same thing about a lot of women with some men that they get with. And I totally agree. And then, yeah, the ones who got real game, those are usually the cluster B personality types, the manipulators, the narcissistic types. Yeah, usually they're really good. So you never see what's coming. When it comes to them until it finally hits you and you're flat on your ass and you're fucked over. Yeah, there's plenty of women out there like that. And there's plenty of men out there like that. But you know what? None of that has to do with systems of oppression. Oh, yeah. You thought I was going to forget that part, right? No, I'm not. I'm never going to forget that part. That's what this channel is all about. So patriarchy is not about bad male behavior. Patriarchy is about a system that supports it. And says it's normal. There is no system that supports bad female behavior. You just need to not be a dumbass and a sucker fucking with those types of women. All right, that's about it. I want to give a couple of honorable mentions and, sh and shout outs. I want to give a shout out to Imani. I, I've been trying to get away from the term pro-black lately. Uh, now, as I've mentioned before, I'm working on a series called Who Are the Pro-Blacks? That uh, part one should be uploaded by tomorrow afternoon. So you should have two new episodes of the first two parts of the Who Are the Pro Blacks? And then hopefully I'm going to not have to do try to do a part three or part four. But the more I'm working on it, the more it looks like it's going to be at least a part three. So. That'll be that for that. And then I want to start on the family series because that's really been like the forefront of my mind. That's about it. So uh, this is the Garage Autonomist, and I will see you next week at The Lounge. Thank you, Amaryllis. Thank you. Mm -hmm.